Joshua Relaford, the road to recovery has been a bumpy one. Four years later, the pain is still raw. Some nights I would, wouldn't even sleep, you know, just stay up crying, like, with the question, why? Why did this happen to me? Why am I going through this? Why me, Lord? Why? These questions after the Takata airbag in the car he was driving exploded, causing him to lose his eye and, for a while, his will to live. When I dropped my hand, it's just like blood poured out my face. Uh, you might have heard of ammonium nitrate. It's the explosive that Timothy McVeigh used to take down the federal building in Oklahoma City. That's what they put in these airbags to inflate the bags. Takata was hit with a $1 billion penalty from the Department of Justice. The vast majority, $850 million, went to car companies, while just $125 million went to a compensation fund for victims. Joshua got no part of that and sued the company separately for an undisclosed amount. It's part of a pattern in this country of large companies paying large fines that often don't reach those impacted by the problem, says government watchdog Peter Schweitzer. If you're issuing a recall and if the company is being fined, some of that money actually ought to go to the people. And not some of the money, most of the money, right? Yes, that's exactly right. The exception to the rule are instances where actually the victims receive the funds. Instead, much of the money simply ends up here at the U.S. Treasury for Congress to decide where and how it should be spent. We looked into fines collected by three major government agencies, adding up to well over $35 billion. In the last two years, the Consumer Product Safety Commission took in about $56 million in fines for issues ranging from a company's failure to report a dangerous defect in its off-road vehicles to potentially hazardous gas ranges. Every cent, they told us, went to the U.S. Treasury. And when these banks were hit with billions of dollars in fines in 2008 for helping to inflate a mortgage bubble that led to a financial crisis, only part of that money went toward consumer relief. But some $11 billion went to the U.S. Treasury and millions more to other government agencies. If they're going to continue to pocket the money, tell the American people you're pocketing the money. And tell that to people like Joshua Relaford. I, I, lost, I lost my vision in one of my eyes. I have to live with this every day for the rest of my life. He and others like him are left to wonder why it's the federal government that often comes out ahead when these companies' mistakes leave so many victims and their families so far behind. For Spotlight on America, I'm Christine Frizzell.